Chris Windham, Human Nature Magazine, here with Russell Simmons at the 2015 Art for Life, here on the 20th anniversary of Russ Philanthropic. Russell, how does it feel 20 years after you started something to look at the vision and what it's become? Well, um, 20 years is a long time. It, kinda, it happened so quick, I almost sure. don't remember it. It just, you know, it's a big blur. The other events, this is a great one. Um, they're all mixed together, like, you know, something that happened five years ago, I think might have happened three years ago, might have happened. <laughs> it, you know, they've all been great. Right. We've got such great support. We've gathered such a great support system. The last four years in a row, we've walked in, as we do today, with over a million dollars in the bank. Right. So we've been, had a lot of great support, and it's an amazing thing. And I think art today is even more important, art education and practice opportunities, because it's more today about problem solving. We can always get an answer from our Google glasses. For sure. We can always know anything that you might, might want to remember. Sure. But remember, mem remembering something and putting it to work, or learning math or science and putting it to work, requires a creative process. And we need to exercise the creative muscles in kids. And that's why the arts are more important today than ever. Sure. And, and, and going forward, what would you like to do with the organization? I'd like for it to grow. We like to grow. I want to grow, yeah. And would you like to clarify anything with the horse car carriage comments? Uh, you know, the interpretation of slavery. I saw a lot of it out there. Well, first of all, I, you know, I. It, 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 but the first, the, the, I was taken out of context. Sure. And surprised, but see, today, sure. as you can see on my Instagram, on my Facebook, the full video, I said that there were 100 billion animals born into suffering every year, right? Made to suffer through rape and other techniques used by factories. Sure. And that itself was a Holocaust. Right. Okay. Not the horses. Sure. So it's kind of shitty that the Wall Street Journal can be a rag. Sure. It's with a political agenda and pawn itself off as a newspaper. But I have the proof on my Facebook because the entire interview and press conference was filmed. Sure, sure. So I have shared that. I know a lot of people have picked that up. But more importantly, I'm not sure I want to use the word Holocaust. If it's going to alienate anybody who might be an advocate. In fact, I had a conversation with Congressman, uh, uh, the Councilman Greenberg, who I'm very fond of. And he said, what, can we figure out another word? And I thought, and I thought, so mass murder sounds okay. Sure, okay. So I use mass murder. I, I mean, I don't know if the whole animal rights community would change their rhetoric. Uh, I think that was first coined by a, a Nobel Prize winning Holocaust survivor who called it a Holocaust. I said it was a Holocaust, not the Holocaust. Right. So it's kind of, um, it's kind of sad that a, a, a main, but again, it's good, it's good. We have, we have, we have transcripts, we have footage, and we have proof. So nowadays, and I also I have six million people at my disposal on my own social media, where I can say, look what the Wall Street Journal did. Right. Because the headline that they carried was then carried by other people. And so nowadays, just like in the police, the police uh, incidents, sure. they're showing us what kind of inaccuracies have been given to us. Sure. Because now we have footage, we have film footage. As far as the ADL, I don't care about Abe Fox, and there's no place that man could go where he causes harmony. Right. He's only caused disharmony every place he's gone. He hasn't done anything to improve relations between Jews and any other community in the entire time he's worked for the Anti-Defamation League. So he could have called me on the phone. He didn't right. have to have a public fight. You don't need that public fight with leaders of community because then that causes disharmony. Right. So he could have called me. The councilman, on the other hand, Greenberg, did call me. And I spoke to him, and he convinced me that maybe I will say right. for now on mass murder. Right. But I certainly never compared 20 horses to the Holocaust. That right. was a horrible headline, and it showed that the Wall Street Journal does have a political agenda, and they're not a newspaper. Well, thank you for clarifying, Russell. Take care. Good luck tonight. I haven't told anybody that, but you. That was a good question. <laughs>